Austin Columbus Dishman was born in the state of Mississippi on September 19, 1995. It would eventually call Michigan its beloved home state. Austin began his military career in the United States Marine Corps and would earn the title and rank of Sergeant Dishman. Austin was stationed in Japan, Indiana, and Massachusetts. And once he transferred to the United States Army, he resided in Georgia. Austin served his country proudly and always excelled in and completed every task and mission given to him. Austin was a great leader and always stated it was the Marine in him that kept him strong and determined to be the best of the best. Austin is survived by his wife, Barbara, his son, Austin Columbus Jr., and his daughter, Amina. Austin was a beloved father, husband, son, brother, uncle, son-in-law, brother-in-law, and friend to many. Austin would bring laughter, joy, and peace to a room full of people. His loss will leave an unimaginable ache in our hearts and an ache unable to be fulfilled for the rest of our lives. During his most recent deployment to Europe on March 27, 2024, Austin tragically passed away. Forever in our hearts, Austin Columbus Dishman. of the Blue Star Mothers of America and the Annal Ballet Blue Star Mothers, Chapter 14, we would like to honor the white mother and father of Specialist Austin Dishman with the Gold Star Banner as, his pa as parents of sons and daughters serving in the military. We want you to know that we are thankful and extremely proud of your husband and son for his dedication and willingness and love he showed for his country. As his wife, mother, and father, who cherish your husband and son so deeply, we know you will remain forever in our hearts and in our your memory. To all of us gathered here today, may he be a constant reminder of how truly valuable our freedom is. May this Gold Star Banner be a proud remembrance to you, your family, and to all of us of your very proud husband and son. We would like you to know we will forever hold him in our hearts and in our prayer. And may God rest his soul in peace. On behalf of the Blue Star Mothers of America, we present to you this Gold Star Banner for the loss and sacrifice to our countries. Down Valley Blue Star Mothers, Chapter 14. In 2017, Austin drove across the country to kidnap my sister Barbara. Every once in a while, I would always give Austin a hard time, joke about it, and he'll always get shy because he knew what he did a wafer game. And in a way, he kind of did me a favor. <laughs> I knew Austin was a person he was my sister Barbara made the decision to leave with him and start a new life. A beautiful life they created and resulted into their marriage and having the two little babies, Amina and Collins. Austin was not only my brother-in-law, but my compadre. I was always proud to tell people about him. And he was a proud serving Marine, but a current on sword. Austin was awarded to was a devoted Detroit Lions fan and a Detroit Tigers fan. Austin was a cowboy. He always wore his boots and his sombrero. Always when Austin grew up in the East Coast, but when he was a Californian, it was like Austin was in his element, being in the sun. He always enjoyed it. Austin always preferred the heat or the fold. Austin Minky was loved by many of us. He knew he was everything to his kids, Amina, Columbus, and his white Barbara. When the men and Thormus grew up, 
I'll make sure they know that their father was a girl, a good man, and that they were ever being to them. They reminded her that Austin was a great father, brother, son, and friend to many of us. I wish we could have here Austin with us today, but his legacy will be carried on by his kids, his family, and friends. Austin, we love you. Until we see each other again, brother, Columbus, Amina, and Barbara will be okay. We got them, so I want you to rest in peace. Austin, this is forever. Thank you. And for Inc, everyone, to being parents for me and my kids. For the city. This kid will never see the thoughts, but it's definitely me, but it's me, but it's me, but me. Time stops in now, March 27. The world stopped turning for me on that day. It's been 29 days, and I wait for the clock to cut part to the again every morning. Because I got the news. To see if my song's not in the rain, but into your call, and you're just a delight checking in. I love you, babe, and then just keep praying that I'll wait to equip this like me. I recall learning video and every blink of videos that we play with Anita and Columbus. And it hurts to know that there will be any more new memories as the score against the world like you always said. You were just talking about and probably didn't wait for Columbus for a day of kindergarten. And you said you would wait in the parking lot all day and kids going to come home early. And I laughed and I said look was being extra now. I still love these kids so, so much. And I'll never see them yelping to the door, screaming daddy and running up to you ever again. They're full of happiness, love, and silliness, just like you. We have so much to do still, and we couldn't wait for Collins to start playing sport. And so we can coach his teams and just be at that. I ache for your voice, but I'm gonna stick you in the radio, but I just can't imagine life without you. I see you in everything, I think of you all day, and every single thought comes with the pain of my heart knowing you aren't here anymore. You were the total opposite of me. When you were my balance, you were positive, patient, and kind. Always not the words to remind me that I was safe, and that you were my role. She, your artists were my home, and I still was. No, I don't, never be here on to yet. Austin supported all my passions. He would always say, yeah, I should start a business, babe. And I would laugh. Did you always give in to my random ideas or me wanting to pay one more thing in our home black? He never said no to me or any crazy idea I cried. We had just celebrated a year ago. We had just celebrated our wedding anniversary on March 10th. And you said it, it was a year closer to our big wedding. And I like to believe it was more one of the wedding you should be. You would always talk about having all your brothers standing next to you on that day. <laughs> Chet, Bed, David, Pedro, Jesus, taking you to the wallet as your greatest men. You had finally decided Ireland for our honeymoon. So we were supposed to grow all together. We had two kids who love you so much. And maybe right now they don't understand what's going on, but it comes to continue raising them the way we always talked about. And always protecting them and mentally and physically glad we always promised each other kind of this crazy world. Austin was the first time that it was impatient for Columbus to file the award. I love my Tom, babe. I know you're excited. So am I, but do not stress me out because I have to push him out. And he laughed and said, okay, I'm sorry, babe. Please hurry and get him out. I'm ready to take him candy and fishing. Austin, Austin loved being a dad to Columbus and Amina. Amina had him wrapped the wrap her figure and she's definitely a daddy's girl. He was the parrot that was ready to get to pitch him, get in a trampoline, or fit himself down the slide with them. I'm so thankful for Austin, for the father and husband that he was on the days I lost weed at him, who would always walk in one slab or my starbits order. And he would hand it to me and give me a kiss, and then I would always say, I love you, Meloya. And Austin would give me that world if I asked him to. He spoiled me even when I told him no more gifts. He would always say, but well, you're the luck, you're in my life, so I can't stop. I feel like these past weeks and had to stop myself from having to explain myself to everyone. And I just kept rereading the text to Wasta telling me, it doesn't matter what anyone thinks or says. You're the rock with this family, it's just you and me, Mayor. Don't forget it. Also, you were my calm and all the TFs saying that I can go back to you and it would all be up to me. You were my calm, your arcs were my safe space. Austin was my life, 
our children were alive together. Awesome. And I keep asking myself that, what do I do now? I was waiting for Austin to tell us about what we're going next. I pray and I pray that you will just come back to us because this time we are like, our children deserve to experience life with you. I see how much of an amazing human being you are. Babe, they're supposed to continue experiencing all the lives that we love starts with you. I am making them. I hope when we get sent to. And all this, and I hope everyone will always remember and about Austin, that he was the greatest father and husband, and just loved his family. We always made it our priority to give our babies the best life full of happiness and love. We were never comfortable to be all of our social media, though we loved their privacy and we only shared with a small amount of people what we show support and love for us and our kids. And they write crumb to see all of us good to win the good that. I'm so grateful that we get to share and experience all the love and happiness that we have for each other and share the locks of and the hot peers. All the slow dances we cut in the kitchen to time to see all this feel to some sound pen. And you would say it was kind of so we could be ready for a wedding. Colin said a near and quitter. Colin and a set of dinges so he fear a little money in the buzz your eyes. So to well for you. I finally see very well continue. To let through your babies and they will always be reminded that you that they were your light. They never prepared for this, but I come to see that I will not isolate time when do it all agree with you. We just you gave me the greatest love story and the best years of my life. I will let you put the rest of my life babe. So worry I guess again to live.